Welcome back to the channel. Today we have an experience. We are here at Northeast Off-Road Adventure in Ellenville, New York to test the Ineos Grenadier. Now this is an off-road vehicle. It is not an electric vehicle. It is gasoline powered, but it has a really cool story behind it. Jim Ratcliffe loved his Defender, but he went over to Land Rover and said, I would like to make some Defender since you're not going to produce that vehicle anymore. And Land Rover told him no. So he said, I'm going to make my own. Now, Jim Ratcliffe is a billionaire. So he started by calling the company Ineos. Now, Ineos is also a chemical company that is a billion dollar company with many people that work there. And he said, well, we know how to produce chemicals, but we're going to figure out how to produce cars. So getting the people together was critical. First off, you need a factory. So Mercedes was getting rid of their G-Wagon factory and building a new one. So they bought it. It's on the French side of Europe, but it's also on the border of Austria. So it is built in France. This vehicle has a BMW driveline. It is the same driveline you're seeing in like the X5. This is a three liter. The driveline is BMW. It is an inline three liter, like you're seeing in the X5 with 200 82 horsepower, but it has a lot of torque. So it was designed specifically for an off-road vehicle. In addition, this vehicle was designed in Germany and as well as parts from Austria. So this is a very European car. And by the way, Ineos's home base is in the UK. So we are talking about a pretty cool vehicle that has a lot of history. So we wanted to take you along with us for our first experience, our off-road of the Ineos Grenadier. This is a prototype vehicle. So you're seeing some of the coolest things. There are three trim levels. There's a base trim level, a trail master, and there's also a field master. The field master should more that off-road, leather interior, but all the vehicles have Recaro seats. They all have that overhead console. It is very airline looking. So if you've ever flown an airplane, you'll definitely like the experience. There's a bunch of journalists here along with this experience. So let's start with taking this vehicle off-road and show you its true capabilities. We have a pro with us, Warren, and he is a professional off-road racer. So he's gonna give us some tips along the way. I'm great on pavement, not so good in this icky weather, but you're only getting better and we want you to join us to show you the capability of the Grenadier. One of the interesting things to know is the Ineos brand created Grenadier because it's the name of a very famous pub in England and Jim Ratcliffe now owns this pub. Pretty cool, he designed it all on a napkin and built the whole business out from there. But this business is so much more than just building a car. It's having a dealer network, which there'll be 25 dealers before the end of 2023. More coming not soon after that. Behind this BMW 3 liter engine is an 8-speed ZF automatic transmission with permanent four-wheel drive. It has a two-speed transfer case. When you go with the Trailmaster, that's going to be your more off-road vehicle, and that vehicle has three transfer cases. By the way, Ineos is a major supplier of hydrogen, and they are working on a hydrogen-powered SUV version for 2026. Even though electric vehicles are still becoming more popular, they're going to look into doing an electric vehicle for this as well. One of the neat features of this Ineos is something called a toot horn, which is for cyclists because the owner of the company is also a cyclist and he didn't want a loud horn to scare people. He just put a little toot horn in there just so that you can pay attention and be aware that there's a car coming up. The Grenadier is a five-seater SUV that is designed for extreme off-road conditions. It's also about luxury and having that technology. Aluminum wheels are available on the Fieldmaster as well as heated seats are an option for all trim levels. You may have noticed that the Trailmaster and the Fieldmaster are the same name as Bellstaff jackets. That's not coincidental because Jim Radcliffe also owns that company Bellstaff. And when you purchase one of each of the trim levels, you get a jacket to match. This off-road vehicle is body on frame, manufactured in France, engineered in Austria, designed in Germany, and the corporate offices are in the UK. Underneath the Grenadier is skid plates, as you would imagine. All the suspension driveline components are BMW. Transfer case, there's three of them. As you go further back, you can see the exhaust system, the pan. As you work your way back, there's lots of skid plates here. And then we head back to that rear differential. Rarely do they put these vehicles up for us to see. You gotta take advantage of that. Everything is wrapped and protected. Remember, this is built in the same factory as a G-Wagon. 
I'm going to do the beginner part and I'm going to let Warren, my pro, do the very difficult part because I've done a lot of off-roading, but I am no pro at this. Much better on a paved racetrack. <laughs> but this is a prototype. This vehicle is very interesting because it's built at the factory where the G-Wagon used to be built. So it's built in France on the Austrian border, designed in Germany. Corporate headquarters are in the UK. Driveline is German, but built in France. I love the mixture. And Austria is in there somewhere, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of neat that the mixture of the, it's a European car. And this vehicle is coming to the U.S. So if you thought, oh, I miss those old Defenders, well, you can buy something even better. <clears throat> this is really, really muddy. We had a lot of rain. It's cold. And this is definitely a true off-roader course. And they have customers coming here to prove how capable this vehicle is. Okay, we're going up the yep, hill now in the, the mud and it is deep mm -hmm. mud and ruts and rocks and trees. This is all part of the Ineos Granadier experience because if you're off-roading, you're overlanding, you're going camping, you want to experience what it's really like, this is the vehicle you're gonna want. Well, Warren's a pro at this, he does this everywhere. I'm learning from the best. This is amazing. This is like driving an original Defender which we have reviewed, and the new ones as well, but this is amazing. Right. The turning uh, radius is great. I mean, it's really, the imp you just put the input in, it just goes. I mean, it's, it's like a new old Defender. It's amazing. It is really mucky. It is really deep mud. And I'm glad I have a pro with me as we all learn to be better drivers. There's a lot of journalists out here we all think we're pros. You may think we're pros. We're not pros. We just know enough to be dangerous, I think is probably <laughs> very accurate. And we all have different experiences, even though we've all done this with pretty much every brand. This is a whole nother animal. We had a great time driving the Neos Grenadier, and I have to say it is super capable whether you're going through deep water, through very tight trees, through muddy terrain, or just driving it on the road, you're going to find that it has a really nice quiet ride. And one of the things that's really important is you can customize this vehicle the way you want. Maybe you want the off-road trail style, or maybe you want that luxury, you can mix it up any way you want. The vehicle starts at $70,000 and goes up to $75,000, and then you can start adding on all those goodies. Now you may wonder, how popular is this? Well, they have eight thousand paid reservations already here in the U.S. This vehicle is already being sold globally. You're selling it in Africa and other continents. In the UAE, people are going crazy for this vehicle. They can build up to 33,000 of these a year and they've got even more reservations. If you're thinking about buying one of these, $400, you put your name on a reservation, build one, and you can always change your mind at a later date, but I think you won't once you get the opportunity to drive this. They're taking these vehicles all around the country, letting customers drive them so that if you decide that you're ordering one, you won't be disappointed. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this vehicle. In today's world with all this cool technology and digital screens, you don't need that. If you want a vehicle that will get you through anything, whether you're living in snowy, rocky, muddy country, or you're just having something to drive every day, this could be your one and only vehicle that is the coolest vehicle on the street. 
If you have additional questions about Ineos and the Grenadier, put that down below in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them for you. You can follow us on social media, all forms at Lauren Fix. Also, check out the other vehicles that we've done off-roading with. In addition, if you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is down below. We do appreciate your support. Make sure to like and subscribe this video, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.